Hello, in this problem we have to determine the exact value of tangent of 120 degrees and we are instructed that decimal approximations will not be accepted, which means we have to do this problem without the use of calculator. Since the angle is not acute, the first thing we need to do is find the reference angle and the easiest way of doing so is to sketch it on x and y axis. I'm going to label the quadrantal angles. We have 0 degrees on the positive x axis, 90 degrees on the positive y axis, 180 degrees on the negative x axis, and 270 degrees on the negative y axis and the circle completes at 360 degrees on positive x-axis. 120 degrees will fall between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, so it will be around here. The reference angle is always the angle created with the x-axis, so theta will be here. And from this picture we should be able to see that to calculate theta we can take 180 degrees and minus 120 degrees and we get that theta is equal to 60 degrees. So in order to calculate the ratio for tangent of 120 degrees we can calculate the ratio for tangent of 60 degrees. But before we do so, we need to know whether or not tangent of 60 degrees is positive in the second quadrant. And we have all students take calculus. S falls in the second quadrant, which means that sine and its reciprocal is positive in the second quadrant. And everything else is negative, so tangent of 60 degrees will be negative in the second quadrant. So calculating negative tangent of 60 degrees gives us the exact value of tangent of 120 degrees. If you have memorized the exact ratios, you can plug in the answer now. If you have not, we can use the reference table to calculate it. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We take a radical of everything and divide this radical by 2. The reference for sine goes from left to right, so we have sine of 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees. And the reference for cosine goes from right to left, so we have 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 degrees. The only hiccup that this table gives us is that it doesn't show tangent right away, but we can easily calculate tangent of 60 degrees by taking ratio for sine of 60 degrees and dividing it by ratio for cosine of 60 degrees. This is the tangent identity. The reference for sine of 60 degrees is on top of radical 3, so sine of 60 degrees is radical 3 out of 2. The reference for cosine of 60 degrees is on top of 1, so ratio for cosine of 60 degrees is radical 1 out of 2. In order to divide fractions, we keep first item as is, we have radical 3 out of 2. Change division into multiplication. And flip the second fraction, so we get 2 out of 1. Square root of 1 is equal to 1, so I simplified it. We can reduce numerator and denominator by 2. So 2 and 2 will cancel, and we get that tangent of 60 degrees is equal to radical 3. Now we can go back to our problem. We need to calculate negative tangent of 60 degrees. So this is equal to negative radical 3, which means that the exact value of tangent of 120 degrees is equal to negative radical 3. And this is our solution. That's all.